everyone, I'm Amber Katz from beautybloggingjunkie.com and we're going to discuss today the several steps to achieving a sparkly holiday look but without overpowering. Um, the holiday season is definitely a time to bust out your most glittery eye and lip makeup accoutrement. Um, but there's a way to do it without going overboard and definitely you've seen those people at your holiday parties looking as if they have a glitter disease and we just don't want to be one of those people, right? We want to just rein it in a little bit but still be festive. So the first step to achieving one of these looks is to start out with a very clean canvas of foundation and concealer and I've already done that step. Um, make sure it really matches your skin tone since we tend to be paler during the winter months. Um, it might be a good idea to have a separate winter foundation and concealer um, separate from your summer one or your, you know, darker one, if you will. And then once you have that all on, make sure to do your neck as well. That's always a good tip. Um, step two is to apply a little bit of, as I lose my other piece, apply a little bit of a shimmery neutral shadow stick and this one is the Smoky Shadow Blast by CoverGirl. Um, this is sort of a um, shimmery neutral beige on one side and a darker brown on the other side and we're actually just going to use the shimmery neutral beige and this is very easy to apply just directly to your eyelids all over your entire eyelid real estate just sort of giving a really nice base for your more glittery makeup to adhere to. So that's really it. And then we just sort of, you know, make sure it's not too heavy in any one area more so than another. Um, so that's step two. Step three is um, taking we're going to start with the glitter. Step three is um, applying a little bit of the Urban Decay Heavy Metal um, Glitter Eyeliner or any type of glitter eyeliner you have. This is this happens to be one that I like because it, while it looks wild and crazy in the tin or in the container, it actually goes on just sort of a very small amount of um, gold glitter. And along your lash line, it just looks really pretty and Certainly not natural, but just very subtle. So we're just gonna do a little bit along the lash line. It just adds a little bit of glamour. Um, you can, of course, apply a lot more and make it a little bit more rock and roll, but we're going for glamour this holiday season. So, okay, so you can see that it's just sort of glinting a little bit in the light. You can actually barely even see it. So now we're on step four and step four we're going to get a little more into the glitter because this is very subtle. We're just lining our eyes but we're going to do a little bit more of the of glitter just patted on using our fingers patting it onto the um, lower part of our eyelid under the crease and I like to use MAC Solar Bits. Um, this is a gold um, loose glittery shadow. And because it can be a little messy, I actually leave the, um, the plastic top on and just sort of take the excess with my fingers, with my, my middle finger actually, and I'm just going to apply a little bit onto my lower lid. I'm going to take a little bit more from my other eye. There we go. And just sort of pat it on lightly very festive okay now that's it for step four now our eyes are totally done I have eyelash extensions but um, so I'm not going to use mascara but you would definitely use several coats of mascara on the top and bottom to define your eyelashes and then what we're going to do, I think you want to keep your blush pretty simple for this. So step five is adding a little bit of blush. This is a, um, a cream blush stick by Marc Cosmetics. It's called Just Pinched, and it's in Cheeky Pomette. It's just a regular sort of medium pink shade, nothing too crazy. We're just going to do a little bit on the apples of our cheeks. 
and a cream blush is always a nice way to go because in the winter it's not very drying it actually hydrates your skin whereas a powder can um, dry out your skin making you look older than you are and nobody needs that at holiday season right or any season for that matter so we do a little bit of that that's step five and now we're ready for lips so what we're going to do is because we have a lot of sparkle on the eye we're going to have a little bit of sparkle on the lips but it's going to be a little bit more minimal so we're going to start with um, CoverGirl Outlast Lip Stain and I have a berry shade and it's number 440 so we're just going to start out with a little bit of this and it's definitely a rich shade okay okay so we have the berry shade on our lips um, that is steps this is step six by the way and then we're going to put a little bit of Chanel lip gloss. It's called a Glossomer Gloss, and the color is 146. And this is sort of a light pink, but it's sheer, and it just imparts a little bit of shimmer. And we're just going to add a little bit on top. And we're, all, and we're done. Um, a good tip for using a lip stain, by the way, is that it can be a little bit drying, so you always want to make sure that you follow up your lip stain with either a lip balm. Um, here's an example of one that I like. This one's by Ole Henriksen. It's, um, it's called Fresh Lips SPF 15. Or um, if you're not into a more natural look and you really do want some more shine and reflectiveness in your lifestyle, um, a gloss will do the same thing. A gloss will impart the moisture that you need for a lip tint without looking you know, like it's too much on top of it. So those are the steps to creating a perfectly gorgeous, sparkly holiday look without overpowering. I hope you love it and I hope you try it out. Thank you.